and that concludes our briefing. So we have a moment or two if anyone would like to ask us any questions about the findings of the recommendations. I'll take silence to indicate a degree, a degree of consent to... Uh, if I could ask, this is another damning report. There's a, there's a whole pile of damning reports, serious case reviews, the independent Jersey Care Inquiry report, couldn't get any more damning. Um, should be congratulated for, for conducting this report, but no one's getting held to account again. Is, shouldn't we start holding people to account who are failing our children? What's different about your report um, to any other report that, that we've already read? Why isn't anybody getting held to account for all these failings, massive failings? Well, in any situation, Accountability is hugely important. And I think what this report points to is the need for corporate accountability right from the top of the organisation down to the front line. And as part of our introduction of the report and the recommendations and findings, we have spoken with uh, Chief Minister and Ministers and we have highlighted the, the need for that collective responsibility to drive forward change and improvement. Um, one of the assurances, as I mentioned, uh, from the inspection is that leaders and managers know what needs to be done. Um, I think this inspection report provides them with a template uh, for the kind of change that needs to move forward with PACE. And certainly, I think people need to be corporately and collectively held to account for making sure that nothing is left undone that would improve services for children and young people, particularly those children and young people who are in the care of the state. But still no one's held to account, are they? I think where my, my um, problem lies is that the care inquiry and, and the Ofsted report and your, your report is totally damning of the children's services. But the problem is the people who are working with the children's services have been there for, for, for years and years and years. They've, they've been part of the problem, but they're still there. So you shouldn't we be looking at these people who have been there all this time and possibly move them out and start holding them to account. How can things change? If you've still got the same people who have been telling us everything's wonderful and everything's great all, all these years, when we know it isn't great, aren't, why aren't these people getting held to account? Well, I, I think that raises very important issues about leadership and the culture of leadership. Um, one of the um, uh, things we've been hearing from those that we've spoken to is, is an investment in leader, a leadership culture and a culture that will drive change. Now, I hope that, that holds true, and I hope that that brings about uh, the kind of improvement and the stepped improvement that's needed uh, to make this uh, work and to make and improve lives for children and young people in Jersey. Anyone, would any of my colleagues like to add a comment there? Perhaps if I can add that one of the main issues has been the instability of the workforce, the fact that there people come and work on island and then leave, and there's this constant turnover. So one of the things that we've talked about in our report is around the pillars that can be put in place to support the workforce to feel listened to and valued because you have a valued workforce and then they value the people that they serve, the children and the families of Jersey. So we think it's really important to look at those issues that can help create stability in the workforce, a culture of um, Jersey being a place to come and work and remain and stay and most importantly so there is consistency of workers working with children and families. Um, uh, my colleague Lisa has talked about uh, from her experience as a carer of um, different social workers coming in and out of her life and um, even with the most stable families as, as her family that's difficult. Imagine what that's like for a child who doesn't have a family around them and who, um, who is, is extremely vulnerable and has been abused. So it's really important that the stability of the workforce is right and our report has particularly highlighted what needs to happen at pace to ensure that uh, the stability of the workforce will make, better, make for better practice in the island. And that was certainly well received when we spoke to um, the Council of Ministers yesterday. I just don't want to hold it. One more question, if you don't mind, is I haven't had an opportunity to read, read the entire report because I don't think it's in the public domain yet, but I'm not sure if there's any recommendations for a whistleblowing policy because in the care inquiry, they, they found that people were coming over, didn't have any residential qualifications and all that. So, you know, from the, from, they come over from the UK, if they blew the whistle, 
they were just they were destroyed. I mean, Jersey people are destroyed for blowing the whistle, let alone somebody having to move their family coming over here. So is there anywhere in the recommendations or in the findings that there needs to be a robust whistleblowing policy so people can speak up and speak out um, in order to protect children? Because anybody who's done that so far has basically been imprisoned or destroyed. So is there a whistleblowing policy recommended in this report? The, um, the report deals with the issue of making sure that uh, any concerns that are identified are, are addressed. One of Francis Oldham's uh, associated uh, recommendations is that there would be a system of independent scrutiny of services and the responsibility that we as a care commission have is a responsibility to establish that process here in Jersey. Uh, part of our work as a commission will be to follow through on the recommendations and the findings within the inspection report. Um, our uh, work at the moment is centred on bringing forward regulations for inspections of children's residential services and that's an area that Francis Holden in the inquiry was particularly focused on and particularly concerned about and we want to make sure that staff will have the opportunity first of all to raise issues through their direct line management channel and if that is not working for them that to be able to bring those uh, concerns to another source and of course one of the the associated recommendations uh, from Francis Oldham's report was the establishment also of a children's commissioner in Jersey and we now have that building block in place also.